we are here at the VIP. We're VIP. -ing. We're VIPing here at uh, it's game day, Nashville versus Inter Miami. They're going down. Going down. We're gonna take you through the game, uh, through the luxury experience today, and we brought some friends with us back here. VIPs. They're VIPs. <laughs> These are guys that won the tickets on the channel, so they're gonna enjoy the day with us. Let's go check it all out. Let's do it. All right, for today's video, we got hookup VIP thanks to our friend, and you know we're gonna take you around right now, just show you some of the things that are available to you when you sit on the west side in the VIP section. These, these to be honest, these are new. We never got. Uh, I, I've sat here a few times. Never gotten uh, this lanyard. So this is kind of that messy effect. So this is called the Midfield Club. And as we pan around, you see a cool see cool mural. Got all kinds of food options around here. All this is covered with your ticket. Got the bar over here. Cool lighting. I mean, it's a pretty cool place. Lots of... Uh, sure. Thank you. Got a rum cake, guys. So there's the bar all up. Beer and wine is covered. If you want anything extra, you gotta pay extra. Plus they've got these easy access water, sodas, anything you want. Looks like over here we've got a beer girl. And then we got Ed getting his first beer. <laughs> what, what beer do they got, Ed? What do you got? La Tropical, the original Amber Lager. What I hear I it's wanted, good. I wanted to point out, Peter, it's like you were saying earlier, they give you all these, you know, all these little details that you didn't get before, VIP. Right. That didn't happen before. I we, was saying that before, yeah. We used to get those cheap little wraparound throwaway uh, The bands. kind that would stick to your skin? Yeah, those ugly ones. <laughs> now, you know. And, and, of course, Peter Brown with his girly drinks. There yeah. he is. Yep. At the beam. Refreshing. Refreshing strawberry guava. Oh, goodness. It's the best. <laughs> hey, look, before though, I will tell you, last time I was here, they only had Heineken and Michelob Ultra. Nice. Now they've got your uh, La Tropical, they've got Topo Chico, they've got Dos Equis. They've got better options here now than they did last time I was here. Nice. All right, Peter Brown. It's worth the price. Exactly. Right there. <laughs> what you got there, Ed? I got myself a little rum cake. Put that pinky out. Oh, there you go. There, you, there go. you go. Oh, wait. What do we think about this? Oh. I think it's a one biter. I think it's a one biter too. That's what I did. I'm gonna have to do it. Not bad. They're they're walking around, passing around rum cake. All good. I'm gonna need a lot more in a few. <laughs> a lot of food. Wash here. it down with a beer. Oh yeah. So here it looks like we've got uh, little sushi bites already, little bites of sushi. But here, if you want to be healthy, you got some raspberry salad, we got some corn, some buchata, I think. Did I say that right? Yep, got that right. Some rice balls, those look pretty good. Okay, some good looking mashed potatoes, some shrimp over there. We got pasta, looks like some pasta, uh, Alfredo. Some red sauce pasta, and then some beef. Lots of good options over here. All right, here's what we ended up with. We got some potato, we got the two different kinds of beef, got some shrimp. What's that, Ed? Is that the beef? Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's good. All right. Not a bad spread for the soccer game. Since Messi's arrived, they have definitely stepped it up here over in the midfield club. We've got this cool display for some uh, crab. Look at that. This thing is awesome. And it's new. Since Messi. Here we've got the trophy presentation for the Leeds Cup. Being presented.
sending it to us. Uh, I guess they're going to walk it around over to the supporters section. Chants are in full effect here at Drive Pink. All right, any minute, Martinez. Come on, blow the whistle, guys. Let's let's get the show on the road. Sold out crowd tonight. Whoa! I always miss the fireworks. Always miss the fireworks. Here in the uh, VIP section, very, very close to the, to the stand, to the field. Right here on the, about, what, the 30 yard line? Yeah. And here is the uh, bodyguard for Messi, and it's, it's just interesting to watch him. I'll zoom out a little bit. And we could see wherever Messi is on the field, he's pretty much uh, even with him walking at all times. What a job. I mean, he just walks up and down the field. He may have to run every once in a while. As, as, as the play is moving forward, so does he. It is an interesting job. And he is zoned in. He's doing his job. He looks, I mean, he looks like a tough dude. I wouldn't want to tangle with him. And, he, and he's really, he's keyed in. He's paying attention. He's got his eyes on Messi the whole time. Look at him. There he is. And there's Messi right over here. Here's Messi. Right there. Messi's right there. Bodyguard right here. <laughs> Messi gets fouled right in front of us. The Messi chance start. He's eyeing, when he fell down, he started to look to the goal to see how far it was. Could he make this? It's a little too far, a little bit too far. Made a short pass, made the short, didn't even make for a cross. Thought he'd go for the cross into the middle. Didn't even make the cross into the middle. Oh. Interesting thing here, we see Fafa be called Challenging the ball right there. Bob will be called. It's really fun to see him play because, man, me and Ed, we saw him play here so many times over the years as a Fort Lauderdale striker. So he was a Fort Lauderdale striker that has uh, kind of gone on, played for several teams in MLS, and uh, still got a following down here. Last time I sat in this section, I was here with my wife, and we were playing against Nashville. We were playing against Nashville, and we were sitting close to a bunch of his uh, family. Crowd getting mad because uh, uh, DeAndre Yedlin got fouled. Another good spot. Another good spot for Ed to watch Messi. What is Messi going to do this time? Works the magic, Pete Brown. Will he take a shot this time, Ed? I think this is going to be on, on frame, or is he going to cross it? I think he's going to 
I think he's gonna go for the tallest guy out there. Busquets, watch. I told you he was gonna go for Busquets. He went for Busquets, but it was short. Even even the best in the world can be a little short. Well. <laughs> I see what you did there. We all know that Nashville's a good team, uh, having played them in the Leeds Cup, going, the game going to uh, PKs. Luckily, Walker Zimmerman is not on the field. Neither is uh, Mukhtar. Mukhtar is not on the field either. Both uh, at a benefit to Miami. I would imagine Mukhtar might come in in the second half. I'm not sure about Zimmerman. I don't. For whatever reason, I, I think he might not even be playing. You guys might know if he's injured or, or what the deal is, but uh, I'm not sure about Walker. Ed's starting to sing. We're technically sitting here in the back row. There's a like a bench area here. Here on the second row, because our, our, our winners are sitting down here. So Ed and I moved to the back. The wieners, they're the wieners. The winners sitting there, I mean, we, we moved to the back. I have uh, never seen the stadium so full on a Wednesday night. Here, Drive Pink, sold out crowd on a Wednesday night. Pre Messi, let's just, you know, straight to the point. I couldn't give away my tickets pre Messi if I wasn't going to come to a game. Now I can sell them. Make a little money if I wanted to. Second half has started, and uh, we missed uh, a few minutes, Ed, because getting our beverages, it's a long line to get drinks here. Even if it's a VIP. But Hani Mukhtar and Shackelford are both in the game for Nashville. That's going to prove, I mean, difficult for Inter Miami. Those are the two best players probably yeah. for uh, Nashville at this time. Ah. Along, oh, along with Fafa Picol, who just got tripped up over there. But uh, we need, uh, Martinez needs to come out. Martinez needs to come out. Capata needs to go in. He's been nothing. Nada. See, all right, let's see what happens. Nada. Nada. Nashville yelling at the, uh, the sidelines. They're ready to make another sub coming in. Inter Miami is uh, in the second half is uh, taking out Arroyo, put in Farias, Farias, however you say it. Looks like we got two subs coming in for Nashville. The player put on the shirt backwards. How about that? Put on the shirt backwards. Meanwhile, Messi got tackled and there's a yellow card. This is prime spot for Messi to do some magic. Can he do it? Meanwhile, it's Godoy and... I don't know how to say his name. Honenson, something like that. Godoy's a good player, I know him. Honenson's coming in as well. Two changes for Nashville. Meanwhile, Messi chance has started. Messi on the ball. Can Messi do some of his magic? The referee's taking his time. Yeah, look, the plane ain't about something. Chance start again. We're getting loud. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, what a save! That was a good 
good save. Messi was right on target. Ready for some Messi magic, but good save. Quick counterattack. Calendar captures it. A newly uh, blonde hair calendar here. See the blonde thing again. Campana is ready to come in with, it looks like maybe Kromoski as well. Kromoski and Campana are coming in in around the 67th minute or so. You see Ruiz? You see Ruiz? I don't see him out there. Oh yeah, there's a moppy hair guy. <laughs> Ruiz is over there as well. We're making three subs coming in here. As soon as the play goes out of bounds, I'm wearing my Campana shirt right now. I'm ready for Campana to come in, change his game. But Messi hasn't had the impact this game. To some extent, you got to figure Nashville has his number to some extent. They, they Look, they played him before, and they did well in the League's Cup. They obviously, you know, they have a game plan, something similar to what happened in the League's Cup. That game, we took penalties. So here we are in a similar situation. Had this been the League's Cup, we would be headed to penalties in the near future. I can see Taylor going out. Uh, so Ed's Gomez. thinking Taylor and Gomez. Gomez, yeah, I can see him coming out for Kromoski because that's the obvious change. Gomez on the ball now. Martinez is coming out for Campana for sure. Can we see something here before the changes happen? We're getting time of the ball, but nothing dangerous. Okay. Oh. 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 Thank God he was offside. We just, I just missed a possible goal. Almost a goal for, for uh, Nashville. Luckily, it was offside. Meanwhile, substitution's coming in the game. Robert Taylor, Martinez, and Gomez all coming out. Kromoski, Kapana, and Ruiz. Kromoski getting a nice cheer. Hometown kids, both him and Kromoski and Ruiz, both hometown kids, Miami guys. Corner kick here. Crowds go wild. This is perfect opportunity for Campana. Yeah, oh well, nothing. We are really rooting for Campana here to get on the end of one of those uh, crosses. Stick with it for a minute here. See the end of this play. Hey, what's up with that? Ruiz gets fouled, and yeah, that was a dumb shot. That 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 one shouldn't have been made. Who took that shot? Farias. Am I saying that right? We have another chance here for Messi. Within striking range for him. And he makes the magic here. 
late in the game. By now, we should have already scored. Let's be honest. Messi chance has started. Ah, deflection. Nashville has proven to be a, a tough team for Inter Miami. From League's Cup to MLS, they have proven to be a, a tough team for Inter Miami. I'm sure other teams in the league, if they're smart, are watching to see what Nashville is doing. Short corner. Back to Yedley. Taking the ball away from him. Oh no! Hani Mutar, their best get player him, on the him, ball. Get him, get him, get him. This is dangerous, folks. You got him. Look at him. Yes! Game. Yes! No. That's it. It may be a foul, but it was a necessary foul by Ruiz. Hani Mutar is Nashville's Messi. Do you see how he just went through our midfield like it was nothing? This game is looking like it's going to end 0-0. If you care about the MLS Cup playoffs, this is bad. Next game, if, I, if I'm correct, is uh, in LA for, against LAFC. Tough team to play. On the road in MLS is always tough. We need to win at home for sure. Messi chance to start it again. Don't worry, Miller's got it. Miller's had a pretty good game today. Getting into the attack at times. You know, a little a little bit lost in the attack. I remind me of when I played uh, defense and I found myself in the attack. I didn't know what to do. Then again, here's Messi. He's got a magnet. No air balls in there for Campana yet. They need some good crosses for Campana. Ruiz, how about that? Uh, we just missed a close call with a possible penalty. Luckily, VAR came into the rescue. No penalty. 90th minute, still 0-0. This game, looking like it's gonna end 0-0. Nashville has the blueprint on how to stop Messi so far. Remember, it went to the penalties in the League's Cup. Now, they couldn't stop Messi in the League's Cup, but they've obviously learned a little bit since that game. Hani Mukhtar in the ball, and nice, nice taken away. Jordi Alba, active, very active tonight. Messi's been a little quiet. He's played very deep tonight. Too deep, as Ed says. Miller, Jake, tracking the ball down. We have about, what, four minutes left in this match. If Inter-Miami plans on making the playoffs, this game is important. Now, they need to win about eight out of the 12 games. So they can afford a loss, but remember, they're playing on the road a lot. That's going to be a challenge. Messi with a block. Got a shot block again. Got a defense here. D. Time is left. Masky on the ball. Fans 
screaming for him to move it up quick. been very, very active since coming in. Oh! Messi was far back, but he still tried to make his magic, tried to do something. Got a corner. Could this be the last corner of the game? Crowd is roaring. Stomping their face. Short? I hate short corners. And that's it, folks. That's it. Zero, zero. Doesn't help us in the MLS Cup playoff hunt. Still unbeaten, as Ed says. Yeah, good point. Still unbeaten since Messi has joined the club. Who is going to get Messi's shirt? That is the question. So here with our winner, Alfredo, won the tickets to sit with it in this amazing section. Alfredo, I got to know, why you're an Inter-Miami fan? You live in Costa Rica, but yet you're an Miami fan. Thank you very much to Miami Football TV. It was an, an incredible experience. I am a Miami fan because I wanted to follow a team from the roots, from the beginning, and I think that Inter Miami was the perfect selection. Uh, it is a team that is growing with a very notable uh, Latino vibe, and I started following from the beginning. So it's a different experience for following any other team because you can even see every, every uh, match that they are playing. You can see how they are growing. And look at this. The um, stadium is full. Everybody's talking about Inter Miami. We got the GOAT, we got Messi. And I think that uh, everything is going forward from this. Inter Miami is growing, is growing very fast and uh, it's a great experience to uh, share this with friends and enjoy football, enjoy but, soccer. But, but why Miami? Nashville came into this league at the same time as Miami, but you joined, you kind of uh, chose to, to be a Miami fan. Why Miami? Uh, they got Lassiter, I, I think that is the... Ah, it's the Costa Rican! <laughs> Yes, I'm from Costa Rica, they got Lasseter, and I think that is the team from Rambalas who got the most Miami vibe, or Latin vibe, ah, I think. So the Latin so, vibe dra yes, dragged yes. you in? It is close to Costa Rica, the airplane ticket is uh, cheap, Yeah. so I can follow it uh, the proper way, you know? Coming to the stadium, uh, watching the games, uh, sharing with friends, I think that is the perfect selection. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. It's over it, a tie game. Ed, how do you feel? I think there could have been changes done earlier. Uh, Tata kind of, you know, messed up with the lineup again, I think. Well, it's a winning lineup, kind of. But the, he could have done some changes sooner. It didn't work today. Yeah. What was wrong with Messi? It was a little bit Why was he so deep? far back? Yeah, Messi was very far back. Martinez didn't do crap. Uh, who else? Uh, Kamal was incredible. So you let's know. get our, our friends from 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 uh, Costa, Rica. Uh, Costa, Rica. Costa Rica. I want to say Chile. I don't know why, but guys, are we going to make the playoffs? I don't know, but we are going to win the Open Cup. <laughs> so sure. our goal is Open Cup at this point. Yeah. Yes. Forget? Are we forgetting about the MLS Cup? No, no, no. Don't forget it. But first, the first thing is the. Open, open Cup, cup open is cup. A, the easiest way to a trophy yes. right now. Sure. Easiest way to a trophy is the Open Cup. Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, Peter, uh, we've got a long way to go. I mean, we only got one point out of this one, which is bad. Uh, we need to win against LAFC on uh, Saturday. That's going to be a tough one. And that's a challenge. Winning in L.A. 
traveling in MLS is hard no matter what. But then winning in LA, LA's a quality team. Yeah, they're really good. The so is Nashville, not to take away. They were away. the last champions too. Not to take away from Nashville. Nashville's a good team. Nashville seems to have figured out how to stop Messi. Second time they played us, and they did, a, they did a, their job. If they LA is smart, LA's Copy. watching this game. Copy that. Well, let's start to do some rearranging. Don't, we hope he will. Don't start Gomez. Yeah, no Gomez. Let's start Campana. No Martinez. Yeah. Uh, Martinez uh, did nothing today. Ramoski, put him in from the beginning. All right. Well, we will uh, we'll follow uh, the, the team into uh, to L.A. And, uh, you know, we'll have some post-game shows and all that kind of stuff. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Thank you.